Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Maxi My Main Progress. If you watched the last video, then you would know that we just got 99 Runecraft. Look at that cape, it's beautiful. We also got 99 Hunter too, but this cape is cooler, so I'm wearing this one. It is currently January 7th, so the Shattered Relics Leagues hasn't started yet. It starts on the 19th. Um, but by the time you see this video, the leagues will have already been over for quite a while, so... <laughs> We're just going to be kind of getting some skills up on this account in preparation for that because we're going to be playing the leagues on this account most likely and uh, we won't be playing this account during the leagues. So I think what we're going to do is get up to 99 fire making first. So we got our whole setup right here. Once again, don't judge. I know we look beautiful. I know. Uh, if you want to know the method that we're going to do to train Winter Todd, then you can go back to the first episode in this series where I kind of go over the method. For the most part, it's just bring a couple foods and... After every single game, I just teleport to home with my runes and my rune pouch, restore my stats at the Ornate Rejuvenation Pool, and then I use this, the jewelry box, to teleport to Winter Todd. And that's pretty much just what we're doing. So we're going to waste no time. We're going to get right into the progress and work on 99 fire making. Once again, we are going to turn Entity Hider on and hide public because there's just so much going on in Winter Todd. I just don't need that. Actually, some people called me a noob for using Entity Hider and hiding public in the last video where I did Winter Todd, and honestly, I just I just do not care. I cannot be asked to deal with all that stuff, so we're just gonna we're gonna get in there. All right, so I've already done a couple games of Winter Todd, uh, and I've realized I forgot to say we're starting off this episode at 90 fire making and uh, 85 construction. We might get a construction level or something like that because we repair the braziers inside of there, but uh. Yeah, starting off at 90 fire making, 85 construction, and the first game we did brought us up to 227 winter Todd count, so we started out at 226 winter Todd count. All right, guys, and we're just jump cutting over to Ardoin real quick so I can lay out my side goal that I'll be doing. Pretty much what this is, is I put on a ton of armor that gives me prayer bonus. We're currently rocking a tasteful little plus 48 prayer bonus, and the reason for this is because I am not quite level 90 agility yet but I would rather train my agility on this course than the Relica one. So we, with all this uh, prayer bonus, we can put the Preserve Prayer on to make our Summer Pie boost last way longer. And now we're 90 agility, and we can run this course. And since we have the Prayer Gear on, the Preserve Prayer will last way longer, making our pies way more efficient, and we can just run laps. So we may get a couple agility levels in this video, I'm not sure yet, but this is going to be our daily routine since we're done with Herbivore. We'll be doing a 100 lap count of Arduin every day. There's 91 fire making. Just clicked past it, but there's level 92 fire making. This is probably gonna be a really fast one. <laughs> just got my first notable unique from this grind. Just got the Tome of Fire at level 92 fire making. Pretty cool. And another fire making level coming in right here, 93. And I just want to note that those past three fire making levels I've gotten, those have all been today. <laughs> it's all been the same night. This is, this skill is like broken how fast it is, but I'm not complaining. All right guys, and there's level 94 fire making. It's actually the next day. We are super close to getting level 91, 92, 93, and 94 all in the same day, but I tapped out at like 1.30. I couldn't do it, man. <laughs> so I ended up just finishing up this morning and there it is, 94 fire making. Do we get a pet? Never lucky. And another fire making level coming in right here. Here it is, level 95. Don't want to get hit by that. 95. And I just realized that, that was 2175 total level, which is pretty cool. In two more levels, we will be 100 levels until max. I just hit 92 woodcutting, as you can see down here from the Bruma Roots. We are halfway to 99 woodcutting. That's kind of cool. Whenever I need to just AFK something, I'll probably just go over to Redwood Trees, and that's how we'll get to 99 over time. But yeah, halfway. That's kind of cool. Well, I clicked right through it as soon as the game ended, but there's 96 fire making. I'll put up a screenshot to show you. Live vicariously through the moment. <clears throat> We're going to save it by getting a pet right here. Let's see it. How cool would that have been? And I just realized that after that last fire making level, we are 100 levels away from maxing. We're at 2177. That's a super cool level, dude. All right, guys, we just hit 86 agility, which is pretty cool. We can now use the Calphite Lair Crevice, which is awesome. That's the shortcut into Calphite Queen, so we don't have to run all the way around every single kill. We just take the shortcut into her thing. Um, this is also cool because it means I have a whole extra level I can use with my pie boosts, which is also super cool. And we hit another milestone this morning, which is 250 million total XP, which I guess we got during our farm run, but yeah. 
Big gains happening already. Except, <laughs> wow. And we got another fire making level coming in here. Level 97, two more to go. Here's another level, 98, oh my god, the perfect timing. <laughs> 98 fire making though, you all saw it. One more to go until we're done. We'll probably get that one uh, tomorrow morning on stream so we could have a few people show up to the party, but yeah. Unless I get like a pet or something, then the next clip will probably be 99 fire making. So I'll see you in whatever the next clip is. All right, guys, we got everyone here on stream. We are ready to get this last, uh, well, not this last 99. I don't know why I said that. We're ready to get 99 fire making. It's pretty funny. This is most people's first 99s they get, and I'm almost 2200 total getting this. We got five logs to burn for this level, so let's get it. Three, two, and one. 99 fire making, let's go, dude. It's too easy, man. <laughs> one of the least dramatic 99s I've ever gotten. Still cool though, still really nice to have a 99. This is the 13th 99 on the account. 99 fire making, number 13. Where even is the guy? There he is. Let's get this cape. He said, I'm sure you'll look hot in that cape. I love it. All right, there it is. We're looking good, dude. We're looking freaking good. Now, of course, we gotta do the emote. Always gotta do the emote. Not bad at all. Huge thanks to everyone that showed up. Also, we didn't get the pet. We, did, we didn't get the fucking Phoenix pet, so that means I'm gonna have to do post-99 Winter Todd. Can you imagine a bigger hell than that? because I cannot. Anyway, <laughs> on to the next thing. All right, guys, we got the fire making skill cape. We have yet another 99 down on the account. Um, what's next is probably going to be a combination of things. The Shattered Relics League still hasn't started yet, so I think what I'm probably gonna end up doing is a combination of doing my farm runs and 150 agility laps in the morning and then just depending on what I'm doing on Dune Lord, like whether I'm AFKing that account or not, I'm probably gonna be either just blowing glass at a bank and going for 99 crafting, or I think I'm just gonna be doing like three tick barbarian fishing. Those are probably gonna be the next few things that we do is barb fishing, crafting, and then agility. Those are the levels you're most likely gonna see. So uh, I guess I'm gonna just start blowing some glass. All right guys, looks like we have a crafting level coming in right here. There it is, level 91. I'm just about to go run my Arduin rooftop laps, but I'm really close to a crafting level, so there it is, level 92, halfway there. And here's level 93 crafting. We snuck this level in like a couple hours before the league starts, so this will be our last level that we get until the leagues is over. So yeah, I guess I'll fade to black here and the next clip you see will be after the leagues is over in about six weeks. Hello everybody. <laughs> I know it probably hasn't been that long for you guys, but it has been a very long time for me. We haven't quite done the Inferno yet on the Shattered Relics League, but we're at the point where that's the only thing I have left to do. So I'm kind of getting back into playing the main account. Right now I'm just kind of standing around, bank standing, blowing some glass, getting my crafting up, just remembering where we were on this account. We're level 93, almost 94 crafting. So yeah, those levels should be coming in slowly but surely. Here's 94 crafting. There's level 95 crafting, 96 crafting. And here's another level coming in, level 97 crafting. All right guys, it's been long enough with the Shattered Relics League taking up all my time. I haven't been doing farm runs or my agility laps every single day. Like I haven't done anything except for the leagues on this account for a while. So we're gonna get back into the dailies. Actually, I don't know why I'm gearing up for agility. I need to do the farm run first. See, I'm already really rusty. <laughs> we're gonna do the farm run, then we're gonna get back to our 150 daily laps. And there's 87 agility, we take those. There's 98 crafting, you guys. We are one away from the big 99. It's uh, almost 18,000 more of these to go through and we'll have 99. Not quite at level 99 yet, but we do have a cool little milestone, I guess. When I deposit these light orbs, bam, a stack of 100,000 of them. I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. A white stack of light orbs. Check it out, guys. Cool little milestone down here. 1,000 laps at the Artie rooftop course. Well guys, it is time to get this 99. We're only three molten glasses away from the uh, from the 99, so we're just waiting for the boys to show up. Here's one of them now. All right, the boys are all here. Let's get this 99. We got three to go through. There's one, two, and here we go. 
99 crafting has been completed. You love to see it. Let's go get this skill cape, which conveniently we're right here. So we just gotta put the brown apron on. There we go, there's the cape. Looking real nice. And this has a very useful teleport because it teleports us right here, which just so happens to be right next to a bank. So yeah, that's another 99 down. What even is that? That's like 14, I think. I think that's the 14th. Very nice. So a quick summary of that grind real quick. It was super AFK because all I did was stand at the bank, obviously, so it didn't really feel like it lasted that long. But uh, I guess we went through 114,000 light orbs on the way to 99, which these are untradeable and you can't even note them or anything. So it's just a big stack that I'm probably just gonna keep in the bank forever, because why not? Uh, it cost about 10 to 12 mil. I don't know exactly how much it was because the price of the glass fluctuates, but it was pretty much just like the cost of the molten glass times the amount that I needed is literally like, that's how much the skill cost because I get no profit because I can't sell these back. So it was a total net loss, but it was only like 10 to 12 mil. We still got a big stack of cash left. So we still have more for the maxing grind. Now, what is the next skill we're going to get going to be? Well, I'll tell you, it's going to be fishing is the next one and that's because we are going to be barbarian fishing to 99 and we do get a little bit of agility xp while we do that and since we're currently running the laps every day at the arty rooftop course i want to get this out of the way now so i don't get any like post 99 agility xp so we're just going to be doing our daily farm runs and agility laps and then just spending the rest of the day barb fishing while i do stuff on my other account so that will be the next grind is 99 fishing all right, so here's where we're gonna be for the next, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but this is where we're gonna be hanging out. We got the Dragon Harpoon for the spec to boost our level up. We're starting at level 91, halfway to 92. We have a Runelite plugin that's called like custom left click drop or something like that. And you can just type the name of all these fish in so you don't have to like shift drop. It's just the first default option is drop for all these fish. So it'll be pretty AFK. You just gotta spam click all these every time my inventory gets full. And this is gonna be a background task. So let's see what kind of XP rates we can get. And this is kind of cool. They literally just fixed this. You use the like the heavy barbarian fishing rod when you do barbarian fishing. And it used to just show like a generic fishing rod that you fish with, but they just changed it to where you actually use the barbarian rod, which is kind of cool, I guess. Good timing to start my grind right now. And here's the first level of the grind coming up, 92 fishing. The iconic halfway to 99 point. There we go, there's level 93 fishing coming in right there. Hey, thanks. And here's an agility level right here, level 89. One more level and we no longer have to use the pies to boost up to 90. Okay, good morning everybody. It's time to take a little break from fishing because the league is officially over. It is March 16th. And that means we can now trade the league tutors, see what trophies we got, what placement we got, and buy our rewards for the league. So, hey, it looks like we made it into Adamant Cup. Probably by just barely, but there it is. Shattered Relics Adamant Cup. The Mithril one's pretty cool too, actually. Actually, the Mithril's way cooler than the Adamant one. What the hell? It's one-handed and the colors just go better together. Anyway, uh, we're going to trade the league tutor and buy some stuff. These are all the league's rewards. I know for a fact that I want the teleport scroll because the home teleport is really cool from the leagues. I guess I'll buy the void ornament kit. I guess it turned out pretty cool. I wasn't, I didn't like it that much when it first came out, but we'll take a look at those. Definitely gonna buy the cannon ornament kit because I think the cannon is tight as hell. And I guess I'll just buy a banner and then I don't know, maybe two ornament kits. That's probably good enough. That's a lot of things. <laughs> let's go try some of this stuff on. All right, let's pop these uh, void ornament kits on. And there's that. <laughs> Man, these helmets are so ugly. Like everything else about this is cool, but like, I guess the void one is cool, but like that melee helmet is a disgrace. But everything else is really cool looking, I guess. Let's put all these pieces on the cannon set here. <laughs> then we'll set up a cannon for everyone to see, I guess. Let's try this out. That's pretty cool. And let's see, I can put one of these variety kits on my tentacle. <laughs> Look at that thing. That's super cool looking. Damn, I kind of want to do some raids in this. And here is our league's room all complete. I built two more of these trophy pedestals and we got the one from Trailblazer League, the one for Shattered Relics League, and the one for the next league probably. I didn't play the Twisted League, so I don't have all three, but there we go. Oh, and I just want to say, I ended up putting the second variety ornament kit that I got on my Book of Darkness because I do use this whenever I need like a mage offhand and this looks pretty tight, so... 
Yeah, I was thinking to put it on like either my regular whip or the rune crossbow, but I think this is probably the coolest option. All right, guys, here we are. 94 fishing. We're making progress. 2,254 laps for the most important level out of this whole grind so far. Oh, sorry for that. Sorry for the flashes. 90 agility. You know what this means? This means we can now use the Ardoin course we've been using for the past 2,000 laps, except we don't need to pie boost for it anymore. We can just casually go on up unboosted, which is pretty nice. So this whole grind is about to be a lot more convenient because I don't have to worry about my pies and my prayer and all that stuff. So I could just rock whatever. We're gaming, everybody. We're gaming. I was planning on recording this, but I guess I forgot when the moment came, but I just picked up a Mark of Grace and look at that stack. We're up to a thousand Marks of Grace. I haven't decided what I'm gonna spend them on. I can either spend them on multiple graceful sets to like fill up the collection log or the, I guess the costume room or whatever, or I can spend them on Amylase Crystals for Herblor XP, which might be what I end up doing. So either way, we got a bunch of them. All right, guys, we got a pretty big level coming in here. 95 fishing. And not only is that 95 fishing, but that's also 2200 total level. We're in the home stretch, everybody. 77 more levels until max. Also, I've been kind of doing like a hybrid between just AFKing the barb fishing and also doing a little bit of a little bit of three ticking, you know, to speed it up whenever I have a few seconds of downtime. All right, I'm not great at three tick barb fishing while I'm talking, but got a level coming up here. There we go, 96 fishing. I'm pretty sure this is the highest level that is needed for anything fishing related. This is the level to uh, bare hand catch sharks, I think. Yes, it is. That's the level needed for the Mauritania Elite Diary, but I just boosted to get that. So yeah, 96 over a million XP until 97, but we're in the home stretch, I guess. Hey, there's level 91 in the parkour skill. All right, something slightly different right here for you guys. I've been getting a lot of uh, a lot of clues from doing barbarian fishing, and I've been trading them in for master caskets. So we got a master casket. Let's see if we get anything cool. <sighs> and I am, I am so done. Clue scrolls are dead content. I swear to God. All right, guys, we got another level coming in here. There it is, 97 fishing. With only two levels to go, I'm starting to think that uh, we're gonna go another 99 without getting a pet, but you know, we'll see, we'll see. All right, this is the uh, first time where this happens. Should be one more fish. There we go, 92 agility. We actually got an agility level from barb fishing. And this one is a pretty cool level because it unlocks the last floor of the hollowed sepulcher. So maybe there'll be some hollowed sepulcher grinding in the future. I do want to get the Black Graceful set, so I'm not sure when I'll go for it, but I'll probably go for that at some point before 99, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. All right, we got a level right here. 98 fishing. Let's freaking go. One more until max level fishing. I'm pretty sure that um, unless anything else happens, <laughs> which I don't think there's anything else that's going to happen, I'll just see you back with 99 fishing. All right, guys, this is it. After many hours of AFK barb fishing and many, many hours of three ticking it, we are finally at the last little bit of XP before we get 99 fishing. I got this book of knowledge saved up, so we're gonna use it on there. And that's how we're gonna get our 99. The boys are all here. Shout out to all of them. Three, two, one. Let's get this level. There we go, 99 fishing, all done. The 15th 99 on the account, if I remember correctly, but that is just insane how <laughs> we're already this freaking close to maxing, man. 99 fishing, another one down. Let's get this cape. There it is. And we're looking good. We do be fishing. Let's do the emote, of course. Honestly, a pretty tight emote. There we go, three 99s have been done in this video. 22.06 total, I'll do a proper wrap up in a minute, but yeah, thanks to everyone for showing up and another 99 down. All right guys, first of all, welcome to my new home. I redecorated it to the purple theme, like the Halloween theme. I think it's pretty cool, it's a little cooler than the twisted theme it originally was. It just makes it look a little more fancy. Yeah, <laughs> with that being said, this is where we're gonna wrap up this video. This one took a long time to make because in addition to getting three 99s, you know, we got fishing, crafting, and fire making all in this video. 
In addition to all that, it was also split up by the Shattered Relics League, so it literally took like three months to get this video out, but hope it was worth it. A lot of gains were made. We are 2206 total, 274 million total XP. Look at all those. 1599's done. And in the next video, I plan on getting two more. I'm not going to reveal what they are quite yet, but let's just say I already spent over 100 million coins on the next video, so it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, besides that, I don't know what else to say. All three of these 99s we got in this video, no pets. Well, I guess crafting can't get a pet, but we're like five 99s in a row dry of a pet. I think it was like farming, the herbivore pet, fishing, fire making, rune craft. Yeah, we're not very lucky on pets apparently, but uh, we'll see. There's still a couple more to go, but um, thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. The next one should definitely not take as long as this one did to come out, but I'll see you guys very soon with a couple more levels. So thank you guys for watching and see you all later.